What's up, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Extra Turns. This is a pretty cool one. We're doing a theme here, and the theme is what is the most powerful precon deck of all time? Ooh. We have some really cool guests Voxy, Rebel Sun, Murph, nice. editor director here at Game Nights, and myself. We are all playing in this game with a deck that we chose, but it had to be what we thought was the strongest precon that's ever existed. So we're yeah. going to find out scientifically <laughs> what is the most, most powerful precon of all time. But before we get into it, you might want to buy a precon and test this out for yourself if you don't believe in our empirical methods. In fact, the way you can do that is heading over to channelfireball.com slash command. That's our affiliate link. You'll shop at the Channel Fireball Marketplace, and you'll have access to all of the cards in the history of Magic, as well as great prices on sealed products because you're shopping from real local game stores from around the country. So if you're looking to pick up a sweet new card for your precon up, Upgrade, or just trying to build a new deck, or maybe you want to buy the precons and try this experiment out yourself. The one place to go, channelfireball.com slash command. That's our affiliate link, or enter promo code command at checkout to get the cards you need delivered to you extra fast. And then when you get those cards, you want to keep them in the most pristine condition possible. The Game Accessories brand that Jimmy and I trust our own collections to is Ultra Pro. Ultra Pro really does make the best products to protect all of your game pieces. You want those Ultra Pro Eclipse sleeves or yeah. the branded sleeves with the brand new Dominary United 40K Infinity, whatever the current set is. <laughs> if you want that art on your game accessories like sleeves, deck boxes, play mats, Ultra Pro, they have the agreements with Wizards. They have all the cool stuff that allows you to theme out your battlefield and keep it very, very safe and secure and in good condition. And we have an affiliate link with Ultra Pro now. This is kind of a new thing. UltraPro.com slash command. They have a direct to consumer mm -hmm. e-commerce site. This is kind of a new deal. Uh, you can also just find awesome, awesome, awesome sales going on on the Ultra Pro website. Uh, Jimmy and I use it all the time, honestly. Yeah. I'm con kind of constantly checking it because you never know. Like, you know, from one day to the next, something might drop by like, you know, 20, 30, 40 percent. Yeah, deck boxes, sleeves, you name it. Ultra Pro's got a huge cache of stuff there. You can also just go to your local game store and buy Ultra Pro product as well. Uh, so yeah, ultrapro.com slash command is our affiliate link there. And the last way to support the show is directly at patreon.com slash command zone. We love our patrons. In fact, they may have already watched this episode of Extra Turns a day early, ad free, and then they may have jumped onto our Discord to ask us questions about it, to tell us what they thought of the episode, of anything that they saw that they thought was interesting or a cool combo, because we have a great community at Patreon. Check it out, patreon.com slash command zone. We also have exclusive content for certain tiers, including after this episode, you may want to hear the players themselves discuss how it went down. That is a cool new show called Turn Talk, available to select patrons. Check it out. You don't want to miss out on this amazing content, and we love giving back to our patrons because they help make this whole thing possible. Patreon.com slash command zone. Yeah, all kinds of cool perks. Thanks for supporting us, everybody that does that. And of course, thanks for tuning into this game. Let's find out now. What is the most powerful precon deck of all time? All time. How's it, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Extra Turns. On this one, we have a pretty cool theme and two extra cool guests. Hey, everyone. I'm Rebel. I make commander content on YouTube. My channel's called Rebel Sun. There's two L's. Really important, you don't want to miss it. And we're really trying to focus on the high power side of the format. So if you like powerful commander and a lot of deep strategy, Rebel Sun on YouTube. Hi everybody, my name is Voxy. I am a full-time Twitch streamer. I stream almost every day in the evenings, Eastern Standard Time, mostly magic. So if you like some late night MTG fun, come hang out. On this episode, we're doing something a little bit different. We asked each of the players to pick what they thought was the most powerful pre-constructed commander deck of all time. Wizards has been making these decks for over 10 years now. So there's a lot of choices and a lot of factors to weigh. And now it's time to battle it out and see who chose the best. The deck I chose is Breed Lethality and the commander is Atraxa. Praetor's Voice. This strategy is all about loading up creatures with plus one, plus one counters. Then my commander can proliferate those counters, and my creatures will continue to grow and grow. And the deck I chose today is Heavily Inferno, helmed by Kalia. But we're not playing with her today, because we're actually playing of Teriel, Reckoner of Souls. This card can reanimate creatures at random out of an opponent's graveyard. So my plan is to use my removal wisely, control with dice, then take it from myself. Then, with a collection of the best creatures from everyone's decks, victory will be mine for the taking. So the precon I picked is Lorehold Legacies, and the commander is Oskir the Reconstructor. This is a graveyard recursion strategy, but specifically for artifacts. So my plan is to make two copies of all my stuff, and then once I've got my Synergy Engine online, I can reconstruct enough value to outpace my opponents. 
The precon I chose is Reap the Tides, and my commander is AC, Tyrant of Gyre Strait. My commander does the two things every deck should, ramp and draw cards. So I want to come out of the gate fast. Will I dig for landfall payoffs and powerful finishers? With tons of mana and a board of big behemoths, I'll have everything I need to stomp out the competition. All right, let's battle. Prepare to face a reanimation reckoning. May the lands fall ever in my favor. You know, I actually get paid to liferate because I'm a pro liferator. <laughs> Is everyone ready? Yes. Let's do it. I'm ready. All right, so I will draw my card. I'll play the swamp and pass the turn. All right, I will draw, I will play a swamp, and I will pass to you, Josh. All right, I will draw, and I will play a Lorehold Campus. Go, Murph. All right, I will draw for turn. I'll play a Woodland Stream Tapped. And that's it, I pass the turn. Good old pre-cons, <laughs> loving it. Okay, I will draw a card. I'm gonna play this Boros Garrison, put this swamp back into my hand. Now I go to my end step, because there are eight cards in my hand, I'm gonna discard down a hand size and discard this one. Oof. All right, I'm done, though. Uh, your turn, Foxy. I'll go ahead and draw. I am gonna play this command tower, and I'm going to pass you, Josh. All right, I will tap. I will draw. I'm going to play a mountain, and then I will tap two, and I will play a key to the city. All right. That card's bad, though. <laughs> That's my card draw, Murph. Stop making fun of it. Stop making fun of my card, go. All right, I will untap, I will draw. All right, I'll play Forest, then I'll cast Explore. Oh. I will draw a card. And then, because I can play an additional land this turn, I will play a Vivid Grove, and it's with two charge counters on it. Mm. They still put Vivid Lands in all these decks? <laughs> oh, so are you going to make the two colors? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> There's not very many options. Um, and that's all I can do. I will pass to you, Rebel. Okay, I'll untap, draw a card. I'll play this mountain, and then I'll tap three and play a Dark Steel Inga. All right, and there's ramp. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I will pass the turn. Okay. I will draw. I will play this forest, and then I will play a personal favorite of mine, Champion of Lamhole. Ooh. Ooh, that's a great card. <laughs> that's actually a real card. Yeah. Didn't you like win with that? I sure did. <laughs> On game nights. Yeah. And I will pass to you, Josh. Yes, I remember this. <laughs> All right. I will end up. Draw my card. I will play a Great Furnace, I'm going to tap three, and I'm going to play a Thopter Engineer. When it enters the battlefield, I get to make a Thop Thop. And then my artifacts have haste. So I think in honor of the fact that I, I just met Rebel and I like Foxy, I'm going to attack Murph. <laughs> Does that mean you don't like me? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say that. Uh, I will take one, go into 39. And then I'll pass to her, go to Murph. All right, I will untap. I will draw. I will play this Jungle Basin, enters the battlefield tapped, and when it enters the battlefield, I have to sacrifice it unless I return an untapped force to my hand. So I'll return this force to my hand. And I can't do anything with the remaining two mana, so I'm all done. Pass to you. Thank you. I'll untap everything here, draw this card. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna tap to and play Lightning Greed. Oh. 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 I've got shoes hey. now. And I'll pass <laughs> the turn. Uh, no land drop? Maybe we're regretting our discards. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> All right. I will untap, draw. I'm going to play an island, and I think it's time for Atraxa to come out and play. Champion of Landhold gets a counter. Mm. So I did just meet Rebel, and I do like Josh. <laughs> What does that mean about me? And I like you, but you also don't have any blockers. That's fair. So I will swing Champion of Lamehole at you, Murph, for two. I will take two. Going to 37. And at the beginning of my end step, I will go ahead and proliferate, and I will tick up the counter on Champion oh, of Lamehole. Oh, boy. It is a 3-3 now, and I will pass to you, Josh. Okay, I will untap. I will draw for the turn. I will play a mountain. I'm gonna go to combat. Foxy, I like you less than I did before. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't attack you also, so yeah. it doesn't, that doesn't matter. Uh, Rebel is now pretty scary. Uh, so I think, Rebel, I'm gonna come at you for two. I will happily take two damage. Okay. Going to 38. Okay, and then, surprising no one, I will tap four, and I will play my commander, Oskir, the Reconstructor. And uh, Murph, go ahead. All right, I will untap. I will draw. I'm not doing nothing, but I'm also not putting out blockers <laughs> this turn, so. Play an island, and then I will cast Urban Evolution. <laughs> it is kind of doing nothing. Huh. It's doing something. I will draw three cards. Put that in the graveyard, and I can play an additional land this turn, so I will. It'll be this island. And then I can't do anything else, so I will move to end step. I have eight cards in hand, so I will discard this forest to hand size. Uh, pass to you. All right. Untap. Draw. 
not play this mountain. And then I'm gonna play a Vow of Duty on the Atraxa. So plus two, plus two, it can't hit me. So it's a six, six now? Oh, With, wait know, a minute, thank you. <laughs> you know it has lifelink, right? I know it has lifelink. Oh my Lord. Okay. We're friends, right? We sure are. <laughs> Got nothing left to do, so I'll pass the turn. All right, I'm gonna untap all my stuff. Draw. I'm gonna play Grip of Phyresis, and I'm going to target Lightning Greaves. Okay, <laughs> you can take my shoes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you for the shoes. It is attached to a germ. It enters the battlefield, so Champion Lamhole gets a counter. We're up to three, and then the germ has no power and toughness, so it will immediately die. That's pretty cool, because you got the trigger. I got the trigger, I got the lightning greaves, and I love them so much, I'm gonna give a track to a pair of shoes. Uh, hold on, while that equip is on the stack. Okay. <gasps> a mountain, for <gasps> black, and I will terminate a track. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were friends! I thought we were friends, and I you took my we shoes! Friends. I'm sorry, I did take your, I did take your shoes. I thought we were friends who just share our wardrobe. <laughs> you know, we have like, a really good sense of style, and I was just like, really, <laughs> to go with it. <laughs> All right, Atraxa dies. I, again, I still love your style. I think they would look really good on Champion of Lamholt, so I'm going to equip Lightning Greaves onto the champion. Yep. I think the shoes are just a big problem. Yeah. They're really good shoes, yeah. and they're made for attacking. So I'm going to go to attack step. These boots are made <laughs> for attacking. <laughs> and Champion of Lamholt is swing at you, Rebel, oh. for four. I'll take four. Go on to 34. This was the fastest deterioration. <laughs> <laughs> and I will pass the turn to you, Josh. I did miss a land drop this turn. Oh no. Yeah. And everyone missing land drops. I, saw, I feel like Murph's never gonna miss a land drop. I won't be missing land drops <laughs> for <laughs> some time. All right, I'm going to untap. I'm not gonna use my key to the city. I will draw for the turn. Jeez, am I gonna miss a land drop? Should have keyed to the city. Join us. <laughs> Should have keyed to the city, damn it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tap three, and I'm going to play a Quicksmith Genius, and then I'm going to go to combat, mm -hmm. and Voxy, my commander, will come at you for four, and Murph, a Thop Thop, and a Thop Thop Engineer at you mm. for two. I have no blocks. I have no response other than I will never forget this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's only four. It's true. <laughs> okay, you got life, boy. I will take four. Go into 36. And I will take two. Go into 35. Okay, and then I will pass the turn. All right, well, I think it hit too much. I will untap, I will draw. Well, I guess I have nothing to do but cast my commander. I'll play AC, Tyrant of Gyre Strait. I have a feeling there's a land drop in our future. Mm, what if I told you I would also miss a land drop? I think you're nuts because you discarded a card last turn and it was a land. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, I will play a Vivid Creek. And there's a battlefield with two charge counters on it. Are you ever gonna use the Vivid Counters? What's the over-under on him ever using the Vivid Counters? It's like never gonna happen. I can't wait till there's like a spell in there that's like each color you, you spend. Draw a card, <laughs> yeah. Uh, AC will trigger and I will draw a card. However. Are you gonna play another land? I can play another land, so I will do so. I will play an island, trigger AC, I will draw yet another card. Oh, this is fun. This deck's cool. You're not the scariest anymore. <laughs> yeah, yep. Go to end step, discard a hand size, because I have eight cards in hand, discard an island. Hmm. Discarding lands to hand size. Now you're just rubbing it in. Yeah. I'll pass. All right, untap, draw, and I'll play a Bassandra Battle Seraph. Oh. Cool. That is sweet. Off to you, Voxy. All right, I'm gonna untap all my stuff. Draw, you're never gonna believe it. It's a land, but it's a tap land. That checks out. I am gonna go to combat. I'm sorry, Rebel, but they both can block. Come on. Rebel, I'm coming at you for four. I'll take four points of friend damage. <laughs> Friendship. <laughs> One of 30. Just know that if I had any other option, it wouldn't be you. <laughs> I am going to tap three, and I'm going to play a commander sphere. Oh, that makes up for the Mislan drop. Yeah, it helps, it helps. And then I'm going to pass to you, Josh. Okay, well, I'm clearly not using the key to the city. So I think what I'm gonna do is activate Oscar's first ability and sacrifice an artifact, which will be the key to the city. And I'll give my Quicksmith Genius plus two plus zero oh until end of turn. Which won't matter because now I will go to my turn. I will untap and I will draw. Okay, I'm going to tap two, and I'm gonna cycle this Ruin Grinder. Oh, I love that card. Uh, mountain cycle it, I mean. So I will search my library, and I will find a mountain, and I will put that into my hand. And then, surprise, surprise, I will play that mountain as my land for the turn. Yep. Then I'm gonna go to combat. I'll block. Oh, I'm pretty sure you will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start by attacking Voxy for seven, and Murph one in the air. No, <laughs> wait, I can't block. <laughs> <laughs> I can't block either. All right, so Murph, take one. I'll take one. 
Go to 34. I will take seven and go to 29. And then I'm gonna tap three and I'm gonna play this low shield clockwork scholar. And then I will pass the turn. Okay. I'll untap all these lands, including my vivid lands, and I will draw for turn. And I'll go to combat. Voxy, I'm gonna attack you for five. Yeah, I got nothing to say about that. I will take five. Ow! Yeah, my bad. Going down to 24. Okay, and then I suppose it's time to hit the gas. I'm gonna play a Rampaging Bailoth. Oh no. <laughs> Oh. Rot roll. With two land drops still to go? Right, right, right. All right, I will play land. So I have two landfall triggers. AC, I will draw a card. And Rampaging Bailoths, I will create a 4-4 four, four green beast creature token. Oh God, we're in so much trouble now. I was going to do something <laughs> next turn. Now I have to do something else. Okay. Murph. Uh, then I'll play an island. Trigger AC once again. I'll draw a card. Trigger Rampaging Bailoths once again. Make another beast. That Bailoth is not good. <laughs> and then I will play a Simic Signet. And that is all I can do. I will pass the turn. Okay. Don't have to discard a hand size this time. Untap, draw, I'll play this swamp, and then I'm gonna play this mana charge dragon. Oh, wow. So if I attack anyone who doesn't have flyers, right. and people have mana open, right. who knows what can happen. True. Like I'm not gonna be paying much mana into that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so hold my mana open, got it. Pass the turn. All right, I'm gonna untap all my stuff, and then I'm going to draw. I'm gonna play this forest, and then I'm gonna play Juniper Order Ranger. So this enters the battlefield, Champion of Lamhole is gonna get a counter. And I will pay five mana for that. And then I am gonna move Lightning Greaves on to the Ranger. I am going to tap a green and a black, and I'm gonna play Solidarity of Heroes, and I'm gonna double the counters on Champion of Lamhole. It will be a 9-9. Oh man. Whoa. Well then. And then I'm gonna move the Lightning Greaves back. Everybody's sharing shoes around here. I'm just gonna pass. Okay, I will untap, I will draw, and then I'll play a mountain. All right, I'm gonna start by tapping three, and I will play a scrap trawler. That is gonna trigger my low shield, because it is an artifact creature, so I will draw a card. It also will trigger my quicksmith genius, so I can discard a card and then draw a card, but I'm gonna decline to do that, because I have to discard first, and I like all my cards. Uh, then I'm gonna tap a white, and I'm going to play dispatch. I have three artifacts, remember, because I have this great furnace, uh, and I'm going to target the rampaging Bayloths <laughs> to exile it. No, don't do things. I'm gonna respond with a <laughs> counter spell. Oh, come on. And I uh, will remove a counter from Vivid Grove in order to cast it. He's oh. using a Vivid counter. He's using a Vivid counter to counter my thing. I jinxed the hell out of it, and also this sucks. <laughs> but we made him use the Vivid counter. Oh, though. congratulations. Thank you. Counter my dispatch. Dispatch with your dispatch. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going well. All right, I'm going to go to combat and Murph. Back on the Thopter train all aboard. <laughs> thop, thop, <laughs> eat it. Uh, I will take one damage from the Thopter, going to 33. Okay, and then I'm gonna activate Oscar, targeting the key to the city. Yeah, key to the city, let's go. <laughs> In my graveyard. It gets exiled and I will make two token copies of it. Because it's exiled and there's really no way to get it back, I'm just gonna use it as one of the tokens, okay? Okay. All right, go ahead, Murph. All right, I will unset. Oh my God. The tone of defeat in your voice, go <laughs> And I will draw. Um, I'm going to cast Spitting Image. Oh no. And I'll make a copy of Rampaging Bayloth. So landfall, make two four fours now? Yes. Okay, we're in danger. So I'm gonna play a land. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Trigger AC, I will draw a card. And because I have two Bayloths this time, I will make two beasts. Uh, then I will play my second land for turn. It'll be a Simic Guildgate. So once again, AC trigger, I will draw a card. Both my Rampage and Bayloths will trigger, and I will make two more beasts. Okay, so you'll end up with four with summoning sickness. Yeah, so these four have summoning sickness. Those are all over there. And then I'll go to combat, and I will attack Josh with my Rampage and Bayloth, and the two beasts that can't attack. Uh, I guess I'll triple block the Bayloths with the Scrap Trawler, Quicksmith Genius, and Low Shield. Interesting. How many artifacts are in your graveyard? Nothing, I got nothing. Okay then, I'll order blocks so that the Scrap Trawler and the Quicksmith Genius both die. All right, the Bayloths will also die, and then I will take eight. Feels great to two for one yourself, but. That's one Bayloth down. When Scrap Trawler dies, it will trigger, but unfortunately I don't have anything that it can get. And then I will retrace the spitting image. Uh, I can cast it from my graveyard by discarding the land card. So I'll discard this forest. And I am going to target the mana charged dragon. And I'll use this 5-5 Jimmy dragon token to represent it. All right, so now you have a 5-5 dragon we can all pump mana into. Yes. It's gonna be so hard to decide between the two of you which <laughs> dragon I wanna pump mana Decided into. Yet. Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah, it could go either way. He has six <laughs> four fours. So this is fun, we're all having fun, right? <laughs> 
Oh, wow. Interesting. What? Oh, sorry. I was listening to my Raycon wireless earbuds. Huh? Sorry. I had my Raycons in. <laughs> oh, you too? Yeah. I've been listening to a ton of history podcasts, and Raycon sound quality is top tier, even though they cost just half as much as the other premium brands. I've been listening to nonstop ska. Ska? Yeah, and you just can't beat the comfort of these optimized gel tips. Plus, the noise isolation is great, especially when I'm out on the go. Of course, if you do want to be able to hear each other and avoid any mishaps like we just had, you can always turn on awareness mode. I use my Raycons everywhere, from the gym to the beach to the office. And with their eight hours of playtime and 32 hour battery life, I never have to worry about them running out of juice. You know, it's nice when we're on the same page about stuff. Agreed, so back to it then? Yeah. Oh yeah, I love this horn section. What? What? Go to buyraycon.com today and use code EXTRATURNS15 to get 15% off your Raycon order. That's code EXTRATURNS15 at buyraycon.com to score 15% off. Again, buyraycon.com, code EXTRATURNS15. All right, Josh, that's it for me. Pass the turn. Okay, on your end step, I'm gonna cast Eladomri's Call. Hey, hey, it's me, Eladomri. Who do you need me to call? Um... You want Crater Hoof? I can get you Crater Hoof. Palancron, say the word. I just switched to Mint Mobile and saved a bunch of dough on my phone bill so I can make all the calls I want. Okay, yeah, that's great. Can I get a- Unlimited talk and text on the nation's largest 5G network? You sure can. See, Mint Mobile is premium wireless and their plans start at just 15 bucks a month. I even got to keep my same phone number and all my contacts. So when I call up Nick's Blue Mansion, he's all, I know that number. That's my old pal, Ella Domri. Well, I just need a- Mint Mobile, you get exactly what you need. Just customize your monthly data plan so you aren't shelling out for extra gigabytes you aren't gonna use. Yeah, we know, Mint Mobile is awesome. But can you just get me a Thassa's Oracle already? I can, but I won't. Come on, Josh, we're just trying to have fun here. I think winning's fun. <laughs> to get your new wireless plan for 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash extra. That's mintmobile.com slash extra. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash extra. And I will pass the turn. <laughs> I'm gonna untap. Go to draw. I'll go to combat. Yep. I'm gonna swing the Mad Charge Dragon over to Murph. Trigger join forces. I'm not putting mana in it. Interesting. So you're just offering the trade of dragons? Yes. Cool. I will block. They both die. Okay. All right. Well, now I can get in with my Thopter, so I think that was Rebel's plan. <laughs> Back on the 33 turn clock. <laughs> then I will pass the turn. Okay. That was weird. All right. I will untap. I will draw. I will play a land for a turn. Uh, I'm gonna tap a command tower and a swamp, as well as an island, and I'm going to cast Mortify, targeting your copy of your Bailoff. Well, I am mortified. Yeah, that resolves. All right. Nice. I'm doing it, I'm help. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next I'm gonna slide the Lightning Greaves over to my Ranger. And then I'm gonna cast Deep Glow Skate. Oh, 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 wow. That'll trigger both the Ranger and Champion of Lamhole. And I'll have those triggers resolve first. So Ranger gets a counter, Deep Glow gets a counter, and Champion gets a counter. And then the Deep Glow Skate will trigger and I will double the counters on it and the Champion. And I can't do the Order Ranger because of these really nice shoes. Holy moly. Champion of Limhole is a 1919. <laughs> Does anybody have anything that's power that's no? Okay. Let me just check my board. Yeah. No, no. You sure you don't want to put charge counters on my vivid lands? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> Thanks thank for you, asking. Thank you for offering. <laughs> what I am going to do is I'm going to put these nice boots on the champion. Oh, right. Mm. Oh my gosh. Rebel, you want to do something about that? I'm good. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> I already borrowed the shoes for her, yeah. Yeah, it was worth a try. <laughs> and I'm gonna go to combat. Yeah. And Murph, uh, I'm gonna swing at you for 19. And I can't block because of the champion's ability. You don't have a 2020? Don't have a 2020. Mm. Okay, I will take 19. <laughs> <laughs> I will go to 14. That's a, that's a one turn clock. Everybody else is next. And I'm gonna pass to you, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I will untap and then I will draw my card for the turn. All right, I will play a command tower. Uh, I'm gonna start by tapping six plus my commander to activate his second ability. And I will exile the rune grinder from my graveyard and I will make two copies of it. That is an artifact creature, so I will draw off of low shield. And those have haste because of Thopter Engineer. 
I think it feels kind of bad to attack Murph. I'm really scared of Voxy and don't want to make her mad. So I'm sorry, Rebel, but I'm going to attack you with one of the seven four menaces. I'll take seven. Go on at 23. And then Murph, good luck to you. <laughs> go ahead. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna untap everything on my lens and then I will draw. I will go to combat, mm -hmm. Voxy, everything. That's Swing fair. Up. I am gonna have Deep Glow block your commander and I am gonna have my Ranger block one of the beasts. So these two get blocked? Yes. Okay, so five beasts are getting through, so you're gonna take 20. Sure am. <laughs> Ow. Down to four. But that's not dead. That it's not, not dead. dead. Yeah, so the beast and the juniper bounce off each other, and AC and the deep glow trade. I'll put AC back in the command zone. Then I will go to second main, and I will cast Terastodon. Oh, that'll get rid of a Greaves. Terasta nasty. I will target the lightning Greaves, my own Simic Signet, and one of your keys to the city, Josh. Really? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I needed that. That card's so good. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, my key to the city is destroyed. Not my Lightning Greaves is destroyed. And my Simic Signet is also destroyed. And then Voxy, Josh, and I will all get a 3-3 green elephant token. And when my elephant is the battlefield, it will trigger the Ranger as well as the Champion. So my elephant is a 4-4, my ranger is a 4-6, and my champion is a 20-20. 20, 20. 20, 20. 20, 20. Everybody's favorite year. <laughs> or if you got a way to take care of a 20-20? And that's all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> could be, could have an answer, could not have an answer. Could be, could not be. With no be. Greaves, now it's possible for sure. It's lose, true. Lose tricky. I'll go to my turn. Draw a card. I will go to combat. Mm -hmm. Yep. Attack Murph for four. Wow, that's interesting, okay. Kick a guy while he's down. <laughs> <laughs> I will take four. Go to 10. Now pass the turn. All right, I'm going to untap all my lands. Oh my gosh. And then I am going to draw my card for the turn. Play a plans for turn. I am going to go to combat. Okay. Before <laughs> combat. Voxy, let's talk. Okay, all right, wait, let me see. Oh, yeah. oh, he wants to talk. I want to not die. Sure. <laughs> what can you offer me? I, I'm not going to attack you either. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what else to offer beyond that. <laughs> yeah, I'll make you an offer. Okay. I won't kill you on my next turn if you take up Murph. I like that better. What I if she? Because if you make the deal with him, I can just still kill you. That's what if she very doesn't true. kill me, though? <laughs> 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 okay, so if I can't kill him, can you like make us wheel? If you attack him and he manages to not die, yeah. like you tried, yep. I won't promise not to kill you, I probably won't. Mm -hmm. But what I will do is I will sack my thing during your main phase so you can see the new seven cards. Okay, I like that. During your second main. All right. We'll sweeten the pot. I would like to go to combat. Okay, before combat. <laughs> I will emerge an Elder Deep Fiend. I will remove a charge counter from Vivid Grove to do so. I'll sacrifice the Terastodon, so I only pay two blue for it. It has a cast trigger. I will tap four target permanents. I will target all three of Voxy's creatures. Rude. Very rude. And Rebels Boros Garrison. In response to that, I'm going to tap my Commander Sphere for a blue. Sack it. Draw. With that trigger on the stack, but before it's resolved, I'm going to pay one to activate Oskir's first ability, and I will sacrifice the tapped Rune Grinder. And that means each player may discard their hand and draw seven cards. I would love to. I'll choose to. Yeah, uh, I will. All right, so everybody will discard their hand, and then we will each draw seven brand new cards. And so now that Elder Deep Fiend ability to tap things down is on the stack. Okay. Before that happens, I'm gonna tap my Boros Garrison and float a red and white. Okay, so you got a red and white floating, and then it resolves? And I tap down my creatures. Ooh. Sorry, Boxy. Yeah, it's okay. So, second main. Before you uh -huh. move phases, because I'm floating a mana, yep. I'm going to spend the white and cycle this secluded step. Yep. I'll discard and draw a card. And then Trax is back. Oh. Back again. Pretty good right now, actually. So when Atraxa enters the battlefield, it's going to trigger both my ranger as well as my champion of Lamhole. And then Atraxa gets plus one. I will go to end step, Atraxa will trigger. I'm going to proliferate. So I'll put one more counter on each of my creatures. So how big are all of them now? Uh, Bad. Atraxa is a 6-6, six, six. Champion of Lamholt is a 22-22. Oh my god. Juniper is a 6-8, and my beast is a 5-5. Five, five. Mm, wow, okay. Mm -hmm. Your elephant, you mean, but yeah, it's a beast. Elephant, token. yeah. On your answer, Voxy, I am going to activate my key to the city. See? It was worth it, and I will discard a Temple of Triumph. I will not draw a card. I feel like I should be able to, because that would be fair, but no. I'll target, it doesn't matter, but my elephant token to become unblockable. And then I will go to my turn. I will untap, and the key to the city will trigger. You gotta pay the two, Josh? Freaking hell. <laughs> 
And I am gonna pay the two so that I draw a card. Okay. And then I will draw my card for the turn. All right, I will play a mountain as my land for the turn. Mm-hmm. Foxy. Yes. If I take Murph out, I'm not saying I can. Yeah, sure. try. If you attempt <laughs> but I just don't want to spend the brain power figuring it out. That's if fair. you're just going to turn around and kill me no. on the next turn. So, will you just promise not to attack me on your next turn if I take Murph out? I promise. Okay, deal. Yeah. All right, I'm going to tap four. I'm going to play Hedron Archive. Okay. And then I'm going to go to combat. Before combat, because I have to do this because of Bassandra, I'll cast Into the Royal, targeting the Ruin Grinder. No. And remember, the Rune Grinder is a token, so... Yep, it'll go away forever. Disappear into the ether. I guess in response to that, I will activate Oskir, and I will sacrifice the Rune Grinder, targeting the Thopter. So it's a 3-1 now. And then when the Rune Grinder dies, everybody can decide if they want to wheel or not. I will wheel. I won't wheel. I won't wheel. I don't think I'm going to last a turn either way, so I'm not going to wheel. Okay, so I will discard my hand, and I will draw seven brand new cards. So my Into the Royal fizzles, because you sacrifice the target, goes to the graveyard. Okay, I will go back into combat. Okay. Murph, yep. I'm going to attack you with Oskir and the Thopter. Okay. Before blocks, I'm going to activate the key to the city, discarding a Phyrexian core and making Oskir unblockable. Okay, well that stinks. And then we can go to blockers. Uh, I cannot block, because Oscar is unblockable and I have no flyers. Okay, then before damage, I'm gonna tap the Hedron Archive for two. I'm gonna activate Oscar's ability twice, sacrificing the key to the city, which is a token, so it won't go to my graveyard, and the Hedron Archive. And I will target Oscar with both of those activations. So he's an 8-4. So that is 11 damage coming at me, and I cannot block any of it, so I will take 11 damage. Sorry, Murph. And I die. <laughs> All right, um, boy, I had to use a lot of resources to do that, but we got it done. Rebel, go ahead. Okay, untap all my stuff, and then go to draw. I'll play this Rakdos again. I'll tap this Boros Garrison for it. Okay. I'll play a Mountain, and then I'll play a Mouthcore. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, when Mouthcore enters the battlefield, I discard my hand. Each opponent sacrifices a creature for each card I discard this way. Oh, that's bad. Yikes. In response, I cannot let that happen, so I'm going to cast a Stainful Stroke. Ooh, that's rough. counter it. Rough. Mouthcore is countered. That was gonna be dope. Yeah. For you, not, not so much for us, but yep. Then I'll just pass the turn. All right, I will untap. I'm going to draw. I am going to play a forest for turn. First, I am gonna tap two. I need a plains as well, and two more. And then I will play Migratory Root. Yep. And I'm going to create 411 birds with flying. And they will come in, and many triggers will happen. Oh, right. The orange counter will be plus one, plus one counters, and the black dice will be how many birds there are. So you got four 2-2 two, two flyers. Actually. I got four 2-2 two, two flyers, and my ranger also triggers. Four times. Four times. Ooh. And then my champion of Lamholt will also trigger. So it's a 26-26? It is a 26-26. Be exact about that. Yes. It's, you know, I need to know if I can block it or not. Well, I can't attack you. <laughs> right, right, right. I mean, I, I mean, next Killer, I couldn't attack you. Couldn't dude. attack me. That was the deal. Right, that was the deal. All right. Well, I apologize. It's fine. You took my shoes. I, I did take I did. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I really like your style. <laughs> It was secretly a compliment. Really good. <laughs> I am going to go to combat. Rebel, I'm sorry. I'm going to swing Atraxa and Champion of Lamphole at you. And I'm dead. Aww. All right, so you gain six? I do gain six. Going to 10. And on my end step, Atraxa has oh, some God. triggers. Everything goes up by one, so I'll go ahead and... Okay, so there's a 7-7, seven, seven, a 27. All right, I'm never going to okay. I'm not even going to try to uh, list them all. All right, I'm going to tap everything here. Draw my card for the turn. All right, I'm going to start by activating Oskir for four, mm -hmm. and I will exile the Hedron Archive from my graveyard. So I'll make two token copies of the Hedron Archive. Then I'm going to tap one of the Hedron Archives in a red, and I will flash back Faithless Looting from my graveyard. And I will draw two, and I will discard a Myriad Landscape and Thousand Year Elixir. Faithless Looting gets exiled. All right, well, this is not the best, but it is an answer to the unblockable part of Champion of Lamhold, so I think I have to do it. I'm going to tap a white and a generic, and I'm going to cast Darksteel Mutation <laughs> on the Champion of Lamhold. <laughs> That's so That's bad. Indestructible <laughs> Champion. 
And all your stuff can now be blocked. Everything can be blocked. So it's a 2627 indestructible bug. Yes. Bug. Yes, it is. <laughs> all right, then I'm gonna play my land for turn and tap four, and I will play a solemn simulacrum. Sad robot. When that ETBs, I'll stack it so Lucio resolves first. I'll draw a card, and then I will search my library for a planes, put it onto the battlefield tapped. It is your go, Voxy. And then I'm gonna hold on for dear life. All right, I'm going to untap all my lands. I'm going to draw my card for the turn. I'm gonna play the Sungrass Prairie, and then I'm gonna play Bread for the Hunt. Get that bread. Good morning, Thoughtface, let's get this bread. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to go to combat. Yep. I'm gonna swing a Traxa and all of the birds at you. Okay, no blocks. And I will go to 17. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will draw five cards as well. You will. And I will gain seven. Going up to 17. We're at the exact same life total now. You were at four Yay, a second ago. Twins! <laughs> Yay. The game is dead even right now. Yeah, it's pretty close, honestly. Like, okay. it's anybody's game. All right, I will go ahead and tap down five, and I'm going to play Gabe. Gabe! Spores. Very nice. When uh, it enters, it gets five counters. And I also get a trigger on the ranger. So it actually gets six So counters. it actually gets six counters. And I will go to my end step. So a tracker will trigger. I will go ahead and proliferate my entire board. Mm-hmm. Enjoy. All right, so. And then I will discard. And I will pass to you. Okay. Oh my lord, what am I gonna do about this? Probably die. Probably, I'll be real. It's not over yet. I will untap all my stuff. I will draw. All right, I'm gonna start by tapping five, and I will play Alibu, Ancient Witness. It is an artifact, so I will trigger low shield, and I will draw. All right, then I'm going to tap two and play a Mind Stone. Then I'm going to activate Oskir for three, and I'll make 2,000 year elixirs. Then I'm going to sacrifice the Mind Stone draw a card. Um, okay, then I'm gonna activate Thousand Year Elixir, one of them, and I will untap Oscar. Then I will pay two with Oscar to make two Mind Stones. All right, so two Mind Stones, Thousand Year Elixir. I'll play my land for the turn. Then I will activate the Thousand Year Elixir using one of the Mind Stones. I will untap Oscar, and I'll tap for one colorless with the Mind Stone, which won't matter because I'm gonna go right to combat. Then I'll swing at you, Voxy, with the Solemn and the Alibu. Mm -hmm. Alibu will trigger on that attack. I have nine tapped artifacts counting itself. Uh, remember, it does have haste from the Thopter Engineer. And I will point that nine damage at Gave. Uh, in response, I will remove a counter from Gave to make a Sapperling, and then I'm gonna pay the one, and I'm gonna sacrifice Gave and put a 1-1 counter on one of my birds. This bird has four counters on it. So you have three 4-4 four, four flyers and a 5-5 five, five flyer. And also the sapling gets a counter as well as the ranger because of the ranger's ability. So many dice. So many dice. Okay, uh, and then I will not scry because you sacrificed the target. I will block Champion of Lamehold on the 4-5 and I will block the beast on the 2-2. Two, two. Okay. Uh, because of low shield, I prevent all combat damage to my creatures, which would otherwise die and not touch yours at all because they're so big. So they just bounce off? They just bounce off. Um, but maybe I live one more turn? Go ahead, Voxy. That was a lot of hoops to jump through to maybe live. All right. I will untap. I will draw. Well, here's the thing is I can't kill your Thopter, but... You just kill me? I can tap three, and I can play this Abzan Falconer. <laughs> <laughs> So your entire team has flying. So my Just entire plunge. team yeah. is flying through the air, and we're going to combat the team. Uh, okay, my one Thopter is gonna run away. Good game, Roxy. <laughs> good game. 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 Good you made it to the end of the episode. Kind of a crazy game. More colors, you win. That's my. <laughs> that's, that's my. That's my scientific uh, yeah, method. Yeah. Well, <laughs> according to the empirical data. Yeah. That is true. It's Good kind job. of amazing. I don't know if everybody out there remembers, but Champion of Lamholt played a pretty big role in Voxy's win on game nights, and now yeah. it just happens to play a big role again in her win on extra turns. Yeah. I guess. I mean, it may, maybe it means Voxy likes a specific strategy because she can also play it well. Right. Right. Yeah, we, there you go. we might need to make an altar of Champion of Lamholt with Voxy on it. Ooh. Now. Oh, I like yeah, that. Yeah. She definitely knows how to use the card. Anyway, thanks everybody for sticking around to the end. We really appreciate everybody who supports our show. One of the ways to support it is by supporting our sponsors. Channelfireball.com slash command. That's the place you want to go to order your magic product, singles, anything at all. If you want to get your hands on 
you know, one of the most powerful pre-con decks of all time, yeah. whether that's a Traxa or <clears throat> Oskir, which I still think is pretty good. <laughs> or He's, just buy the commanders too, you don't even need to, right? Yeah, that's true, you can get singles on there as well. You're magic players, you're gonna buy magic cards. You may as well just use our affiliate link when you do to simultaneously support the content that you enjoy. Again, that's channelfireball.com slash command, or you can use code command at checkout. Yep, and it costs nothing to you to use that promo code. In fact, you can also use it at ultrapro.com slash command. That's the game accessories product that Josh and I have been trusting for decades plus now to protect our cards. And our cards mean a lot to us, so we want to keep them in the best condition. And we know that you all out there feel the same way. So Ultra Pro makes sleeves, deck boxes, binders, you name it, ways to store your cards to either present to friends when you're trading or to just store yourself and keep in pristine condition. If you go to ultrapro.com slash command, you can shop directly from Ultra Pro. They've got tons of stuff in the backlogs. They're always having great sales and discounts on things. So even if you're looking to just pick up a couple of things, check out that website right now. Maybe there's a great deal going on that you can snag some awesome product at a great price. And of course, support the show. Ultrapro.com slash command is the link you got to go to. And don't forget, the last way to support our show is directly at patreon.com slash command zone. If you like this episode of Extra Turns, well, we have an exclusive series, exclusive to our patrons, which is called Turn Talk, and that is where the players from Extra Turn Games get together, sit around and talk about the game afterwards, talk about how their yeah. deck performed, what mistakes they made, things like that. You may have seen we released one episode on a regular YouTube channel. If you like that discussion, you want to see more of it, there are like five or six other episodes, and every time Extra Turns comes out, another episode of Turn Talk comes out, so there's just more and more value for patrons as times go on. Yeah, and there's a bunch of different tiers on Patreon, so there's a Discord tier, there's an exclusive content tier. Check it out. There's even a tier where you can play against Josh, myself, and members of the Command Zone on Spell Table. We can play Commander with us over the internet, so it's all there on Patreon. Yeah, again, patreon.com slash commandzone. All right, everybody. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.